Parents of Reddit, have you ever caught your child watching corn? And if so, did they know you caught them? How did it play out? Story 1. He didn't know. I came home early from work one day and come in through the garage. I see him at the computer in the family room, without any clothes on and his arm moving quickly, and what appeared to be a typical video on the screen with headphones on. My brain presented the Terminator menu options of the right thing to say, but I opted for nothing. I snuck back out, sat in my truck, and played on my phone. He shares a bedroom with his brothers. We have one bathroom. I understand his predicament. He has small windows of time to take care of business. I think I earned some dad points on that one. If I ever told my wife that story, she'd have a heart attack. She knows he does it, but doesn't want to think about it. Story 2. Our computer was in my little brother's room. We had the desk and printer in there and everything. My mom needed to print something, but the printer wasn't working. So she called me to help. The three of us, mom, bro, and I were all in the room as I tried to fix the printer. Turns out there was a paper jam, so as soon as I fixed the jam, all the printing jobs starting printing out, one by one. The first page starts printing out, and I immediately see it's a picture of a woman. My mom is starting to say, what is that? But I quickly pulled it out of the printer before it could finish, crumpled it up, and threw it away. Wait, why did you do that? That was what I was printing. M.O.M. No, it wasn't. Seriously, you're driving me crazy. Can you just leave? I'll tell you when it's fixed. Seriously, please get out now. I acted really annoyed and upset at my mom, who totally didn't deserve it, and then watched as the printer printed out page after page after page of the same woman. My 11-year-old brother apparently kept hitting print because the printer wasn't working, so it ended up printing about 30 pages total. I looked at my brother and just said, dude, don't do that anymore. Thanks a lot. Story 3. This happened last year, and it was a really close friend of mine. Some background. At the time, we were one year past college graduation, and he was still living at his parents' house working and saving money to get his own place. Also, his parents are very religious. Anyway, after years of watching low-quality internet videos, the guy decides to up his game and illegally download some high-quality content. I'm talking about high-quality hour-long videos. All is well, and he has amassed quite a collection. Until his mom gets a warning letter from Xfinity in the mail. Someone on their account had been illegally downloading copyrighted material. Then the letter proceeded to list all of the videos he had downloaded. His dad proceeded to read this list out loud at the dinner table in front of him, his mother, and his older brother. Of course, later on the dad and brother talked to him on the side and had a laugh, but his mom still hasn't gotten over it to this day. And as good friends, we will never let him live it down as well. Story 4. My parents caught me taking my dad's videos. Backstory. When I was in high school, mid-90s, I didn't know what my parents were doing, but my dad had a bunch of VHS tapes, and I found out he was keeping them under the couch in his room. Apparently, I was really bold because I would sneak into their room when they were asleep on Friday slash Saturday nights, get one of the videos from under the couch, have a late night session, and then put it back in the morning. I did this a couple times, then woke up one Saturday morning to hear them in their room going, well, where could it be? It was here yesterday, and I knew I was in trouble. I snuck it back in later that day, but my mom called me and my next youngest brother, one year younger, into their room and gave us a lecture, with no one actually admitting fault. Apparently, my brother had been watching the videos too somehow. After that they kept all the videos in a padlocked Rubbermaid box, the kind with the hinged lid, in their closet, I figured out how to take the hinge pins out of that and get into it too. Never underestimate the resolve of curious teenage boys to get videos once they find them. Story 5. My dad caught me one time, but not in the act, I had to tell him. He had a block on our satellite where he could block all of the movie channels. What he didn't know was that once he unlocked it to watch whatever everything was unlocked. He bought me a pay-per-view match one time. Midway through, he had to go read my little sister a bedtime story. That was when I quickly changed it to a channel which was inappropriate. I changed it back and made sure it wasn't on last channel before he got back. He made it back right after the show about my bedtime. He walks right in and over to the TV and proceeds to remove the videotape from the VCR. He goes glad I recorded this for the guys to watch at the fire station tomorrow. My heart sank I had to tell him what I had done. Talk about embarrassing. Story 6. My mom found a bunch of pictures of Betty Boop on my brother's computer. So naturally she assumed it was inappropriate. Because with all the millions of sites out there, of course, he would choose to focus on cartoon characters from the 1930s. She called my brother into the room and proceeded to give him a very awkward lecture about the importance of healthy interests and making sure you didn't become too focused on fantasies. Finally, he interrupted her to ask what she was talking about. She said, I found your stash of Betty Boop pictures. He laughed and said, I'm learning how to draw cartoons. She's easy to draw. Mom said, oh, that makes sense. How about I promise to let you borrow the car whenever you want? If you promise to never bring this up again, deal. Story 7. This'll probably get lost in the comments, but I think it's pretty funny. So my parents didn't catch him per se, but my mom told me the story because I was at college when it happened. My brother had heard about those sites from a couple friends at summer camp. When he came home, he decided to look at one of them to see what all the hype was about. 
When he got on the page, a pop-up window appeared with something about downloading illegally in the FBI. He thought he walked into a trap and the FBI was on to him. He shut down the computer, unplugged it, and shut off his phone. His teachers called my parents because he'd been acting, jumpy. Every time he got called to the office, he thought it was the police. Finally, my mom pulled him aside and asked him what was up. He started crying about how the police were after him for looking at illegal content. My mom tried to conceal her laughter as she told him he'd have to explain this to my dad, which worried him more. My dad burst out laughing. I couldn't contain himself. I still make fun of my brother for it. Story 8. Reverse of the topic. My brother and I were going to visit my grandfather to check up on him. He lived alone, and it was going to be a quick, Hi, how you doing? I was driving, and I park outside his little cottage that he had at this retirement community. My brother jumps out of the car. I think I was 27, he was 25, and heads to the door. He knocks and starts to open the door, takes one step inside. I'm about five foot behind him, and he just steps back, closes the door, and says get back in the car. I ask him is he not there? What's wrong? His car is in the driveway. He just says start the car, but I won't till he tells me why. Finally says GPA was watching inappropriate content, two individuals engaging in intimate activities. Has to have been VHS since he didn't have a DVD player or a computer. I start to laugh so hard I'm crying. Brother is just sitting there awkwardly. I asked, did he see you or hear you? No, he was facing away and made no move. Lucky for us, he had terrible hearing. I couldn't tell our parents fast enough. Mom and dad, his son, laughed and now it's become a running joke that my brother has to go into our elderly relations homes first. Story 9. I was in ninth class. I used to go to those cyber cafes for my weekly fix of internet content. That unfortunate day, I somehow forgot to give the house key to my neighbors. When my dad returned from work, he didn't have his key. So he called up my mom and she told him that I have one and I have gone to a cyber cafe to check my mails. Yep, that's what I always used as an excuse. My dad arrived at the cyber cafe. I wouldn't have gotten caught if not for the prompt box in Firefox that always wants to know if you want to close multiple tabs. I saw someone approaching through the corner of my eyes. Try closing the browser. That prompt appears. I clicked on cancel and hurry. Darn. My dad enters the cubicle, sees those ladies and wham. Smacks me right there on the cheek. It was like a sonic boom, the sound that slap made. I was petrified with embarrassment and fear. He walked off, and I ran after him with my head down, ignoring the snickering noises. What an awful day it was. Story 10. I didn't watch explicit content on phone till 16 years old. But one day, I got opportunity to watch explicit content in full HD and phone. That time, I hadn't any smartphone BCZ parents said, when I'll be of 18, then they'll give me a smartphone. It was Sunday. I was studying in my room at noon. Dad was outside that day, and my younger brother was watching TV. Mom had a smartphone. Suddenly, Mom's phone rang. Mom picked up the phone. It was Auntie Mom's sis. Mom talked with Auntie and gave me phone and said Auntie wants to talk to you. Mom also said when you finished your talk, place the phone in her room. I talked to Auntie about five minutes and disconnected. I went to Mom's room to put the phone back. Due to calling phone was unlocked so my curiosity arised that how is smartphone. I was exploring the phone. Accidentally, I entered the gallery. My eyes opened with shock. Gallery was full of HD explicit videos and pictures. I had never saw explicit content. So I put earphones in my ears and played a video. I thrilled very much. It was a hardcore video. Sounds was amazing coming through earphones. I played another four to five videos. I was feeling aroused myself too. I was lost too much that I didn't get attention when mom came and was watching over me. Mom suddenly seized phone from my hand and shouted, what are you doing this? I scared too much. I couldn't give any reply and was looking down. Mom understood the situation then she said, go to your room and don't tell anybody what is in my phone including your brother, understand okay? I replied yes mom I understand. Then I moved towards my room silently. That was my memorable day that I can't forget. Story 11. I told him I checked his browsing history. And I did, since I made the firewall. Mostly it was because he was playing Neopets instead of schoolwork. But one day, I got a report of explicit content. The pattern was unmistakable. Neopets, 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 Anime, Neopets, Neopets, Anime, Anime, Explicit Content, Anime, Explicit Content, Explicit Content, Asian Content, Asian Content, Explicit Website, Explicit Content, Explicit Content, Neopets, Neopets. He was 15. So I just started gathering stats. After a few weeks, I had his big 10 sites. I did research and studied the domains, companies, and did some background on the models he chose. Oh my gosh. My wife giggled. What's he watching? She and I have been pretty positive about these things. She used to sell adult toys. So one day, I sat down and said, Hey, about the explicit content you have been browsing. He denied it, of course, but I ignored that and went through each of his top 10. I explained unrealistic expectations of individuals, how explicit content was exaggerated like how cartoons exaggerate comedy and action, how the top 10 were actual just four separate companies, how the webcam business worked, Asian issues, and the history of explicit content. I then explained I didn't care what he saw, 
but he can't watch anything under 18, he wasn't, and be careful of pop-ups and viruses, which he was fairly savvy to already. I then went over intimacy and how it was healthy and fun if done right, but don't think explicit content reflects anything realistically. Camera angles, makeup, lighting, editing, and acting. Then I pointed out some of his favorite models, including two without makeup. He pretty much stared straight ahead the whole time. I pointed that out and said it was natural to feel uncomfortable. The concept of your parents having intimacy is normally that way to prevent our species from inbreeding. Then I said, remember, homework first, no underage stuff. Enjoy. For weeks, no explicit content. Then his urges got the better of him. I never brought it up again. Winky face. Year later, one of his friends laughed about that. He was so freaked out. He thought you were bluffing. Story 12. When I was about five years old, I woke up from a nap and snuck into my mom and dad's room and opened his bottom dresser drawer where I knew he kept his magazines. I had no idea what it was, but I guess looking at a magazine sounded like a good idea at that moment. As soon as I started to grab one, I hear my dad's voice. What are you doing? I hadn't even noticed he had been lying on their bed dozing. I immediately thought of what sounded like a reasonable lie. I just woke up from my nap and I came in here looking for something. He just looked at me as I slowly went back to my room. And today, due to this quick ability to tell a lie under extreme circumstance without hesitation, I am very successful. Story 13 My now 14-year-old snuck a tablet home from grandma's house when he was 10 years old and ran it up to his bedroom before anyone knew he had it. The next day, I woke to a notice from my network security appliance warning me that a new device had joined the network around 1 a.m. Knowing that I was passed out at that time, I decided it was unlikely I was the culprit. Thus, with them already off to school, commenced the scavenger hunt for which of my children had an illicit device. I quickly discovered the device hidden beneath his mattress, wrapped in a pillowcase for utmost secrecy. My wife and I debated long on whether we should dive into what he had done with it, teetering on that precious precipice that is our child's privacy versus educating him on the finer points of internet content. Ultimately, curiosity won the day, and a mild desire to make sure he wasn't into anything too concerning. The browser was up, blank, the history button seemed to wink at me, as if to say, I dare you. His first search was benign enough, a simple request for naked dancing ladies. I was relieved. His first request to the internet hadn't been for anything too shocking for a 10-year-old boy who was a bit sheltered. His first website was a young lady on a site, dancing topless for the camera. No problems here, a bit young to have encountered it, and not how I'd hoped he would be introduced to the world of adult content, but there it was. Until I made that fateful mistake to dive deeper into his history, seeing the second link he clicked, for you see, from that fateful naked dancing lady, he wound up in a new realm. The site, being a faithful and useful purveyor of spontaneous content, was quick to offer up a suggested link. It was titled simply, Masked Man Invades Her Home and All Her Holes. It was the last link he viewed, the browser closed, the tablet hidden into a pillowcase and beneath a mattress. That day he came home from school and I waited in the kitchen wondering if what he saw had forever affected his perception. I pondered the possibility that one could be affected, not unlike the way one might be affected. The tablet lay on the kitchen table. His eyes fell upon it immediately and you could see on his face that he wished for both his and my swift and timely death so that we could both avoid living through the moment. Following a discussion on the finer points of content and how it is not unlike the WWE of intimacy, he ran to his room, a silent promise between us that the moment wouldn't be spoken of again until the day of his wedding. For the curious, it was a solid 3 out of 10 experience, wouldn't watch again. Story 14 I'm not a parent but a 21 years old guy who was caught, sorta, watching explicit content. So in my household, we had one computer, and it was kept in the living room, though I was the only one who used it 99% of the time. I begged for it to be moved to my room, but my parents didn't allow it. Apparently, teens should not have computers with internet access in their rooms. Anyways, that obviously didn't stop me from watching explicit content and polishing my dolphin, learned it here today, in the living room when my parents were gone. So one day, in the midst of doing my business, the monitor shuts down, just goes black. I turn the UPS, the small power block and try to fix the plug of the power wire from the monitor. By this time, I've put my business back into my pants. It doesn't work. In the meantime, my mom comes home and sees me sitting there and asks what is happening. I just say that the computer has a little problem and I'm trying to fix it, and then proceed to just act fiddle with the power cable till she leaves the room. And before that happens, the act of fiddling somehow fixes it and the monitor turns on with explicit content, full naked women. And I'm not even sitting in front of the monitor, so it's a clear view for her. And I live in a comparatively conservative country, so this was going to be a mess. I just lied to my mom that I was using YouTube and these kinds of ads just show up in between and open web pages by themselves. She didn't particularly believe it though she had no way of knowing because she doesn't know much about tech. I told her to ask my brother about the ads. After that, I heard about it from her three or four times but I just swore it was the ads and didn't hear about it again. Story 15. Not the parent, but the child and not caught in the act but close. When I was around 11, I had this download thing installed on my computer called 
I mesh, it was like LimeWire, before LimeWire, and I had the biggest crush on Vegeta from DBZ, and I'd recently discovered XXX. I downloaded a bunch of pictures and looked at them all but somehow missed one when I deleted them after, and I went to have a nap, no that's not code for wank, I didn't even know what to do back then lol, I used to suffer headaches so I napped a lot. I didn't realize that stuff that you downloaded on iMesh on your own user account showed up on other people's user accounts, it was all shared. The PC was in my uncle's room, and I was awoken by him shouting, what the heck is this? And then my sister, crying, I don't know. And then I heard him stomping towards my room, and I pretended to be asleep. He came in, saw me, stood there for a sec. I was expecting him to wake me up, but he left after a long pause. He fell for my act. I was dreading getting up from my nap, because I knew that he knew Dragon Ball Z was my thing so I couldn't even shift the blame. I got up eventually, and he had calmed way down, and he asked me about it like, did you download a picture with XXX in the name? And I was like, no, trying to seem all innocent. But he called me out like, how did it get downloaded then? And on the spot I came up with, one of the pictures I wanted had one with XXX underneath it, I must have clicked it instead without realizing, and I'm like 90% sure he bought it. Because he all but sighed with relief, and told me to be more careful because XXX. Then it was pictures of intimacy. I obviously acted like this was new information to me, lol. There was another time a few years later where my other uncle was visiting, and while the page was minimized, I heard them coming upstairs, he totally knew what it was and tried subtly poking fun at me by asking why I minimized it. I just said it's private, I'm talking to my friends, but he knew, but it's cool, you didn't tell on me. I don't think.